guys welcome back to my channel today I'm in my little corner with my patch panel that I'm collecting patches with and my favorite little car collection here I had a Fiat 500 in the past and I found this on Amazon it was pretty cool plus I got this really cool photo here now I like it a lot but anyways I have a really fun uh, video to bring to you today. It's uh, actually a video I've been wanting to make for a little bit. It's, um, you know, what would I want for a home defense? Why do I want it? What works for me on it? And that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. Um, first, I did choose the Banshee. A couple of years ago, actually, I went to my first NRA show and I saw this in white and I fell in love with it. So next was picking the color and did I want it in nine millimeter or 45 ACP. Um, I did decide to actually go with the 45 ACP because I like the idea of just having that, you know, that bigger round. Um, let's see, let's talk about the Romeo. I know I've talked about this before, but I just love this little thing. Um, so I bought another one for her and here's the box in case you hadn't seen that other video if you wanted to check out all the specs on the Romeo but it's just a really good sight. I love the red dot on it and I just seem to shoot really comfortably with it which is very important. That's key. Um, next I want to talk about this little attachment I found from Olight called Odin. And here is that box so that you guys can get all the nitty gritty on that. Um, Olight has become my favorite flashlight. I have so many now. Um, but we did put this on here and I want to show you something really cool about how it detaches. So you'll pull this up and pull it back. You can actually feel the magnetism and it just clicks, locks in place. So when you pull the wire, it's not going to come off. Um, so if I move this around a little bit, I can actually kind of show you. It has the little touch pad here where you can just turn it on and turn it off. So that's really, really handy. I did um, get the wire underneath the Romeo here and put this as close as possible just so that I could have more finger room so as you can see I have this here that kind of like stops my finger and then I have this on the bottom so it does take a lot of space and just you know have that extra uh, safety and all that but as far as the Banshee herself I do love this gun it is so much fun to shoot. And I actually have some really cool videos that I did the other day that I wanna insert here so that you can see how awesome this flashlight is and how cool the gun is. As you can see from the video, the Olight Odin lights up your target very well and it makes it look like it's noontime day. Uh, so if you want the power of the sun, Olight is definitely the way to go. They're not paying me for this, but Olight, if you want to send me any free stuff, I like free. <laughs> now, in all seriousness, um, it's really cool in the video if you didn't catch it you can actually see the bullets. So if you wanna rewind and play that again, go ahead. I'll wait right here. I'm still waiting. I'm not going anywhere, I promise. Did you can see it? Okay, cool. Uh, that brings me into the next thing that I actually wanna talk to you guys about today. Um, as you know, uh, the Banshee doesn't really come with anything too much. It comes with this little thread protector. Um, but CMMG actually has upgraded parts and we decided to get one. So this is what we ended up buying, which is 
obviously right here. Now this little part is um, designed to take the blast and push it forward away from you. And I have found that it works fantastic. It's probably one of my favorite little attachments that I have gotten. Now, I did something really cool the other day. I went and, as you've seen in the previous little clip, I took some videos, but I did something even cooler. I did some slow-mos. So, I'm gonna go ahead and insert them, and I want you to just actually see this, it's really cool. So I'm gonna put them in along with some still photos that I dragged out of that. So let's go look at them. That was really cool, wasn't it? I really enjoyed the slow motion and the pictures I captured. I personally haven't seen anything like that on the internet yet, so I was super excited. As you've seen in the slow-mo, it really does project everything away from you. The blast, the bullet, you can see it just flying through in the video, but you can also see that flame and the smoke and as everything. So that actually answered one of the main questions I had as I was setting all of this up. With the Olight being so far out this way, was the blast going to just beat the heck out of it? And I don't think it will. Now, if something happens, obviously I'll buy another one, but I really do love this setup. Now, if you made it this far, please like and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and comment. I love talking with you guys. And if you want to do me an added bonus, go ahead and share it with your friends and family. Now, since you made it this far, I think you deserve a treat. I've been thinking of doing a video and let me know if I should or not. Now, this is not something I carry, but it does sit in my safe. Isn't it pretty? So this is something that will be coming up in the future, possibly for a next video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a great week.